Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric here, and today I'm doing a new plugin display. And today I'll be showcasing the premium spigot resource titled Head Database, created by Arcaniax and HeadX. Their heads can be found here, and contributors to have helped me with this plugin display are found on the bottom. So without further ado, let's hop into this. First command we're gonna run is slash hdb info that tells you how many heads are inside the database and the creators as I've previously mentioned. Um, we're going to do slash hdb which will pull up the GUI menu. At the top you are presented all the different categories which are the blocks, decorations, devices, mobs, characters, food, alphabet, colors, and your own custom server heads and here are all the blocks in between the top and the bottom and at the bottom are your pages so each different page is a new sheet of new heads there you go so yeah it's definitely a large list so far and with your custom server heads those are heads that you specifically put in aside from these heads which are the first five that are there by default it's actually pretty easy to add in new heads to the uh, custom database. I believe there is a short tutorial on the plugin page itself. But these four heads took me under a minute to add, so I wouldn't worry about it being too complex or anything. You're also able to search for heads. So um, we could just search in for head. Let's do Sauron because I already experimented with them. And there you go you get the eyes Sauron and Sauron. Additionally, you guys might see a price at the bottom there. Um, it's totally up to you within the head database configuration if you want to charge your users in-game dollars. So it could be free or it could be whatever is your desired price. So I think that's a pretty neat uh, configuration option. Um, you also get slash HDB reload, which just reloads the config. You do slash HDBU or slash HDB update, which updates the database from their end. So um, what I mean by that is Arcanix has his own database that um, he, he adds the heads in, which is just how, how the entire plugin functions. But it should be noted that your server is automatically set to check for updates every six hours, which again is editable, editable with ND config. So without further ado, let's have a look at all the heads here. Right now we're on decorations. They're organized by category, by the way. So you got some nice dice, chess. Got the eye. Oh, I believe you can hear a little bit of rain going on in the background. Um, you got more decorations. And you also got, and here we are at your mobs. Which, what I like about this is that it also includes mob eggs and along with some mobs that you'd only see in mods. For example, the turkey. Not exactly sure what this thing is, but you got a Chinese dragon here. So I think that's pretty cool. A lot of custom things for sure. You got, you got a pug here. I've never heard of a Minecraft mod with a pug, but I, I bet it's awesome. I got one from the Warcraft mod, I believe. Uh, some ghosts. And here we come to the food. Definitely very nice. Very nice. And a lot of people do get worried about like this plugin not having um, like support if someone changes their username. But you actually do not have to worry about it. Arcanix, I've talked to him about it and he has a system where even it, it's not username dependent. So once it's in the database, when you place down the head, it's going to stay down forever. Like the heads themselves do not change. So I think it's a very uh, smart and efficient system he's got going on here. And he can definitely support a lot. And in case you guys haven't noticed, we are now on the alphabet, which includes numbers and along with special characters. So there's definitely a lot of those. 
and right now what we're coming along to is characters my favorite section you know you got tons of characters from whichever fandom you can name um, the developers are actually pretty lenient about like requests and stuff so I'm sure if your uh, favorite character or whatever is not in this database he'd be more than willing to add it in you know so here we got like Groudon a Golden Steve, lots of Five Nights at Freddy characters. You got Sauron from Lord of the Rings. You got the Lego head. Just a whole lot. You got Hulk. You even got emojis, which is really sweet. And um, what we're coming across right now are the devices. So you got some cameras. You got a Nintendo 64 logo. And oh, we're already on blocks. Well, here's some clocks right here right at the wool which is really nice to see they're all like so cute man like all, <laughs> all the blocks are just cute no other way to describe them alright well I believe that's all I hope you guys enjoyed I will definitely be leaving the uh, plugin link to uh, in the description down below along with my server IP if you want any more uh, if you want to contact me. So hope you guys enjoy and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Adios guys.